Okay, gonna give another scriptural warning against the sin of adultery. Just gonna move my computer a little bit back further so you can't hear the fan that much. But this is in Proverbs chapter 6, warning, another scriptural warning against the serious sin of adultery. And adultery is also uh, very, very serious uh, under the Old Testament, under the Mosaic Law, in Leviticus chapter 20, verse number 10, it would get you the death penalty, adultery. So that shows you what God thinks about the sin of adultery. But I'm going to show you Proverbs chapter 6, beginning at verse 20. This is a scriptural warning, another scriptural warning against adultery. It says, verse 20, My son, keep thy father's commandments, and forsake not the law of thy mother. Bind them continually upon thine heart, and tie them around thy neck. Uh, verse 22, When thou goest, it shall lead thee. When thou sleepest, it shall keep thee. When thou wakest, it shall walk with thee. Verse 23, For the commandment is a, is a lamp, and the law is light, and reproofs and instruction are a way of life. Here is a important reminder. Keep thee from the evil woman, from the flattery of the tongue of a strange woman. Verse 25, Lust not after her beauty in thine heart, neither let her take thee with her eyelids. You see, what the harlot does, the harlot who wants you to commit fornication and adultery, is she'll seduce you with her good looks and her fair speeches and her flattering words. That's how it always happens. But look at the end result. Verse 26, For by means of a whorish woman, a man is brought to a piece, brought to a piece of bread, and the adulteress will hunt for the precious life shall wreck your life. Can a man take fire in his bosom, and his clothes be, not be burned? Can one go upon the hot coals, and his feet not be burned? So he that goeth in his, into his neighbor's wife, whosoever toucheth her, shall not be innocent. Yeah, if you commit adult, adultery, it may not be illegal in the land, but you're a criminal in God's eyes. You're guilty of the sin of adultery, the crime of adultery. Uh, men do not despise a thief if he steals to satisfy his soul when he is hungry, but if he is found, he shall restore sevenfold, and he shall give all the substance of his house. See, the proper punishment for thieves is not putting them in jail. The proper, proper punishment is they restore, they pay back what they stole. That's the proper punishment. But look at verse 32. But whoso committeth adultery with the woman lacketh understanding, he that doeth it destroyeth his own soul. You see, when you commit adultery, it's going to wreck you. It's going to wreck your health. And you do it too much. Uh, because first of all, if you're going to commit adultery, you're going to be cheating on somebody. That will be involved. Fornication will be involved. All kinds of problems come. But if you do it, you're lacking understanding. You're not very smart if you're doing it. Uh, verse 33, A wound and dishonor shall he get, and his reproach shall not be wiped away. For jealousy is the rage of a man. Therefore he shall not spare in the day of vengeance. And at verse 35, he will not regard any ransom, neither will he rest content, uh, though thou givest him, givest many gifts. What's going on here is that when you commit adultery, you know, you've cheated on your spouse. Um, you can't really make it up to them because they've seen your true colors. And no matter what you do to them, you could pay them money. You could give them all kinds of gifts, but it won't satisfy them because they're going to be angry at you. They're going to be rageful at you, raging at you, basically. It's a very serious sin. Again, if you do it, verse 32, you do it, you're lacking understanding. It's not a very smart act. And again, when you do do it, you know, you can't pay ransom because they won't accept anything because you've shown your true colors. You've shown that you're not uh, willing to be monogamous like that. And that's what polygamy is too, by the way. Polygamy is a sin too because it just comes down to fornication and adultery. It's not one man and one woman. As the Bible teaches in Ephesians 5.31, it's a violation of that. So, I want to give you a scriptural warning against the sin of adultery. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.